was rather nasty. Welcome back to DreamHack Winter 2012. It is the Logitech CSGO Championship. 40,000 euros on the line. Uh, myself, Paul Red Eye Channel, alongside me is uh, Threat, uh, former 1.6 top player. Uh, nice to have you along with us again. This is the first and only quarterfinal we'll be showing you tonight. What we will say is this. If this quarterfinal finishes quickly, which, by the way, we think it might, we will jump into the Mouse Sports versus Copenhagen Wolves quarterfinal, which is going on at the same time, uh, just so to make sure that the uh, games don't finish too late this evening. Uh, the second two quarterfinals we played tomorrow. Again, we'll pick out one of those. Uh, sadly, I won't be here tomorrow. I'll be doing StarCraft 2 over in the uh, Kinnarps Ice Hockey Arena. Uh, but you'll have the lovely Dunn and, of course, Threat and Lurpus will be around as well. So this is my final game of the weekend, which is kind of a shame, really. Uh, but I'm hoping that it'll be a good one. It's Ninjas in Pyjamas versus Pro Gaming Target Down. It looks on paper like a bit of a whitewash, but who knows? You know, this is Counter-Strike. You just don't know how it's going to go. And uh, we'll wait with bated breath to see how this one turns out. But really, it's the Swedes all over, isn't it? Yeah, especially on the first map, Mirage. Um, NIP has been crushing like every single team they played on Mirage. So, yep. uh, yeah, it's worth pointing out actually. Before they uh, before they came to DreamHack Winter, they played Mirage three times, and they won all three. Not a shock. They've never lost a, a map on land yet. Uh, but the score lines might be a bit of a surprise. They won 16-1, 16-1, 16-1. Uh, it's pretty shocking, isn't it? Uh, so they love Mirage. Uh, we do have a thread of hope, though, for Pro Gaming TD, uh, and that's that Mouse Sports actually put 14 rounds on the board in the group stage against Nip. So they're not infallible, and uh, we'll have to wait and see whether Pro Gaming can really turn up with some major stuff uh, in terms of skills this evening. Uh, just looking on the server right now, we're, we're bereft of a couple of players from the Brazilian, so uh, hopefully they'll get themselves back into the... Uh, uh, the server fairly quickly and we'll be able to go live and bring you the knife round. This is best of three, by the way, as well. So how, how do you approach uh, a quarterfinal? You've, you've been in a few yourself over the years. How do you, how do you mentally move yourself away from that whole, um, you know, I've got to get points, we've got to get points in the group to get through to the next round. No more, it's, it's do or die. Uh, I think the playoffs is more about at the strategy than the group stage because you get more time to plan before the game and... Uh, uh, okay, now they did the drawing like a few hours before, but I guess... NIP and the, the Brazilians watched some HLTV, HLTV demos, and uh, I think they're really ready for each other. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't doubt the last hour has been spent looking at demos, working out what they did in the groups, who they played, what maps they played against each other. I'm sure, for instance, this is this Pro Gaming's map because they've looked at that and thought, well, Mouse Sports did quite well. We we might better give them a good game on Mirage. And and the other thing we've not seen uh, so far, uh, at least us personally, is we haven't seen how Pro Gaming TD play on Mirage either. I don't know that it's a popular map down in Brazil. Uh, or that they've been boot camping in Sweden, so maybe they have picked up some things as well. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good pick for them though, because Mirage is probably the most uh, individually skilled based map, and uh, NIP has pretty individual skilled players, to say the least. Yeah, indeed. Uh, so it uh, does look like we've got five men from both teams uh, in the server. Let's just take you through that run, uh, rundown right now. We've got Exist, Freiburg, or Freiburg, Forest, Fiflauen, and Get Right, of course, recently named MVP by HL TV. Uh, for his exploits at ESWC Grand Finals. And lining up for the Brazilians on Pro Gaming TD, uh, not Team Destiny or, or anything like that. Target down, by the way, TD. Uh, Kogu, Zach, Steel, ZQK, and RKZ uh, in the lineup for Pro Gaming.TD. It's great, actually, to have a very international flavour, isn't it, uh, in the quarterfinals? We've got the Americans in there, we've got the Brazilians in there, three Swedish teams as well. Yeah, too bad the two of them is playing each other in the first. Yeah, what well, guarantees you one. It means you've got one team through to the semi final. Yeah, yeah that, that's true. And I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm actually rooting for absolute legends of all the teams. Really? Yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay. Uh, we... The knife, down, knife round was just... Yeah, completed. knife round was just completed. So uh, just waiting to see whether they stay T-side. Uh, it was pro gaming. So yeah, so let's drop you into the server right now. And unfortunately we weren't aware that that was going live with the knives. But we are going to go round with uh, round number one in this corner final. Uh, in just a moment. This is not live just yet, so don't worry. Uh, it was Pro Gaming that decided to stay after winning the knife. That's and uh, I still haven't managed to commentate a knife round that's been even remotely interesting yet in CSGO. I mean, knife round in CS is very interesting. Do yet. you think, though, they should just have one member from each team meet in the middle with two bullets in a pistol and do, like, pistols at dawn, and the one that does the most damage and kills the other guy wins the round? Isn't that just the same thing? Yeah, but what if they miss those shots? 
Well, then they, they, they suck. <laughs> <laughs> then they will have to knife each other. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. 1v1 knife's got to be more interesting one v one than 5v5, five five, isn't it? 1v1 taser. 1v1 taser, yeah, actually, yeah. I think Dunn suggested that earlier. I, I wouldn't mind that with unlimited ammo, that'd be fun. So, uh, still waiting for the live command. I'll just let them know that we're ready. And, uh, and they're fighting ready. Yeah, they might. I yeah, think MIP is having a team huddle right now. Yeah, probably. Probably. probably the way it's going down. Something that uh, several members of their team used to do when they were in Fnatic, of course. Uh, pretty often. And I mean, this is so hard for pro gaming. Starting as terrorist on Mirage versus NIP. It's yeah. It's probably like the hardest half that's possible in CSGO right now. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's fantastic in terms of the lineups as well. I'm really interested to see how these two match up. I want to see whether Kogu yeah. has uh, brought his AWP skills with him today. He had a, he had by his own admission, he said, you know, the first map he it was just awful and yeah. he, he didn't play very well at all. And then the second map he was all right. By the third map he was actually, he was hitting a lot more shots. So yeah, it was their key player, I would say. Yeah, we'll see how that happens. We'll also see whether uh, we're going to have um, Get Right um, playing roaming, as it were, and whether um, they're going to have Forest or Fifth Laren, uh doing the uh, orping. Uh, just checking on their names as well, because at the moment their short names are kind of confusing, but I think I can probably fig figure it out. Um, it's going to be a bit harder than normal because they've decided to use real names um, with some extras on the end as well. Forrest uh, has actually bought a deagle on the CT pistol. Yeah. This is very unusual. Okay, so we are live and we are underway for this first quarter final of the CGA CSGO uh, Logitech Championship. 40,000 euros on the line for this one. And uh, Koga just sitting and waiting right now. Let's just have a look at the setup. We've got the four men down here. Kogo on his own at the moment, back in the apartments. And let's just flip over, see if we can find Steel. He's now joining him as well. Bomb is in the hands of RKZ, but he's way away. He's going to come in from the lower area right now as they blast in towards this bomb site. That A site is being locked down by Freiburg, though he's picked up two straight away inside the site. Exist has got one as well. And Zach now running out of bullets inside that bomb site. Gets nailed by a grenade over the top by Fifth Laren. And that'll be game set a match for the first round. Ninjas in pajamas are one up. Yeah, and uh, worth noting is like the T pistol this map is very, very hard since the Cetus can just rotate it back down in that slope area towards the Cetus spawn. And it's very hard with the Glocks to hit them there. So, first round in the bag. And uh, up to this point, of course, uh, their strongest map was statistically Mirage. And uh, they've played it four times in competitive matches, won four and conceded just 17 rounds across those four matches. So we know how good they are. And also 88% of their rounds have, have been won on CT side. So we know how strong they are. If Lauren here is just going to make a rotation back towards this A bomb site, just want to see where they're coming in. They're trying to get into that A bomb site right now, actually. As uh, we make our way over, Koga was the last man standing. He got nailed, though, by Freiburg. And that was a fairly straightforward yeah, eco in the end. actually lost a one shot with the, uh, the P2000 in the yeah. last shot. Very nice shot there from Freiburg. Yeah, he's been playing very, very well as well. Yeah, yeah, he really has. And uh, that was another of those 250 shotgun buys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've they, seen a few of those this weekend. Yeah, and they haven't been quite that effective, to be honest. No. As we can see, all five of them look like they're going to be walking all the way through this area here to come out onto B, so... Let's just flip over and see whether they're going to make that way through. And we're down onto the forest ledge right now, and it's uh, Get Right with the grenade kill inside the bomb site. And Forrest and Get Right have picked out two more between them. This should be a, a fairly easy look at that. Forrest in his position, as it were, underneath forest ledge. That's why it's so cool, because he's been so dominant there. And that is the third round, second eco round in the bag. Uh, as far as the Swedes are concerned, now the Brazilians have a chance to have a full buy round. Kogu does have. Orp in hand. Let's see if Koga could spawn and if no, he will just. Well, he's going to do a set smoke to start with, and uh, we'll just see where this one ends up and where he's going to try and put this to see what they do. Over the top it goes, and it's just landed down here, so it's just to try and block off that A bomb site a little bit. It actually went inside it the did. balcony. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if he meant to do that or not, but it was. If he did mean to do it, it was very sick. As uh, Fifth Lauren started things off with two frags in a row. Uh, Zach's now defeated him. Koga just walked straight into that ledge room and got downed immediately by Exist. 
Freiburg just a little bit nervous on that far side because uh, he was waiting to see whether they were going to pop up towards this area right now. Zach actually does take out Get Right, and uh, he's down to 19 health. Surprised him. And RKZ's now picked up one as well. So we've got a two versus two. And important round here for Pro Gaming, for they can take this one. We've got Freiburg and Forest remaining. It's Forest who picks up the first of the two. RKZ now on the ledge. He's taken out by Freiburg. Perfectly positioned to take advantage of that. And that'll force them back onto a save. Now, four up. It's so hard on this map when the bomb goes down. It's in such an open area and you don't have any smokes late, left in that late of a round. So, <laughs> yeah, it's very, very hard. Six and one so far from Freiburg. Six and one from Forest as well. No kills on the board from ZQK on the Brazilians' side. Let's just see what they did. Well, you know what? I thought they were going to make a five-man push with the Eco, but they're not. They're going to split across 2-1-2. Oh, but... Well, steel has gone down with the bomb in hand. He was right here and got that grenade right through from Fifth Laren and has been downed immediately. And this is going to be a pretty quick eco. Indeed it is. 25 seconds. And Nip make it 5 nothing. Yeah, not much of a fight this far, actually. Well, let's see if Kobe wants to try to do... He has very good spawn for the slope here. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to take an easy pick here in the beginning yeah, of the round. Try that at first pick if you can... Uh, get in there. Let's see whether he can get it. Does look like that's what he's doing. Knife out, running faster of course, and here he goes for the early pick, and the grenade is going to try and slow him down a bit, and he did miss the shot as well. Now he's been blinded, and has been shot oh. down by Exist, so they were ready for that, just in case. And just could see the Siege was already on the spot, so I don't really know if Cougar knows the timing of this, map's pro the, this map properly. Yeah. Doesn't seem like it, does it? Bomb been left behind just now. They're more interested in trying to get a couple of picks so they can get some entries into one of these two sites. Steel's now going to head back towards the bomb in mid. Uh, just in case they got rotated, because they know they've lost Cobra already. And now behind green at the outside entrance to A. Smoke deployed on the far side to give them some cover. Steel now going to try and make his way towards the bomb side. Freiburg's picked up one of Fifth Laren, another Forest with an AWP kill. Fifth Laren with the last of the round. And that'll be 6-0 to zero right now. Nothing working whatsoever for the Brazilians. And if you look at the scoreboard, look, so far, get right bottom of the table, 2-1. and one. Uh, Fifth Laren, 5-1. and one. Exist, 5-2. and two. Freiburg, 9-2. and two. Forest, 9-1. and one. And it's all plain sailing so far. Yeah, and I really think uh, Pro Gamers should take a timeout or something. They can't let so, uh, too many rounds fly yeah, away right now. Yeah, I was now. worried there for a minute. Kogu was still in spawn when they left, but he has since moved away. Uh, grenade down onto the A ledge. And RKZ now going to make his way back towards his teammates. They've managed to push two along this walkway uh, just around here, which means they can get into this B-bomb site here, and they can come through here as well. So this might well be a quick hit into the B-bomb site. Let's have a look and see. RKZ now up on the forest ledge, but get right. Uh, and Freiburg and Forest combining three of them, uh, taking out three in a row. Forest again with another one. Haven't even seen in this game so far. He's been on fire. We might just have to switch over to him and uh, get a bit of action because I think that's about the, the best you're going to see right now. Uh, there's no resistance being put up by the Brazilians whatsoever. 7-0. Yeah, and the NIP just playing flawlessly, hitting every shot and uh, pro gaming. There's nothing they can do right now. It doesn't seem like it, does it? So, let's have a look at Forrest and uh, see whether he's going to get that early pick through the window here. If they push mid, he might. In fact, they're not going to push mid. They're going to go back towards B, and it's going to be a Forrest ledge push, and Forrest might have to get the call here to go back, because he's only got one man in that area. And now, here he goes, in towards that bomb site. Grenade unleashed perfectly. And get right now the man. He's got two in that bomb site. Make that three before getting down. Fifth Laren's come back in with a fourth. And Forrest now knows exactly where the last man is and will scare him absolutely witless with an AWP shot into the box. Thinks he's still there. Actually, on the right-hand side, though, ZQK had made his way out of that area and has now picked up two frags. And he do have the bomb, so he yeah. might make something happen here if he get the bomb down. Yeah, but another man going to come through the hole in the wall right now is uh, Freiburg. He's going to have to be really careful, and he's very careful and very accurate as well. Nice try there from CQK, though. Yep. Just our luck, when we switch over to Forest, he doesn't actually get any kills <laughs> and gets killed as well. It uh, doesn't matter, he still tops the table. 11 and 2 right now. Uh, they're on a buy. There's no point in saving right now. They're 8-0 down, and yeah, they have AKs between them, so... 
Yeah, I've been out, I've been in this situation on Mirosh many times when your team they're like, if the seeders get a lockdown like this, it's it's so hard to come back. You're like, you have no idea where you're. <laughs> That smoke, there was a set smoke from the Brazilians, came all the way over the top and actually hit, uh, hit uh, Exist on the head as he was inside the A-bomb uh, site, so... Small amusement, uh, small things amuse small minds, I suppose. Uh, one already from uh, Exist, he didn't get the second though. RKZ and ZQK combining nicely to get an entry into this A-bomb site. They might just get the bomb down here as well. In fact, they are going to get it down unchallenged and only two men remain now and Exist... Uh, sorry, uh, we've got Freiburg, sorry, Forest, and Get Right inside the uh, bomb site here. It's Get Right who's picked up the first kill as well. And Flash over the top of the roof is now going to send him into the site. And it's a uh, two versus three, but RKZ's got very little health indeed. Bomb is ticking down now. Get Right's going to have to start working harder than this. He's got two. Should get a third here, really. Doesn't manage to make it, though. And that will be the first round on the board for the Brazilians. That was so Steel close. Double. That was so close on the defuse there from Forrest. Great play from NIP there. Uh, Forrest defusing him. They get right knowing that's the only player he has to kill is the guy in house. Yeah, so they get their first round on the board. Plenty of cash still in the bank, of course, for Nip. So no worries for them. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. I thought they did have plenty of cash, but it doesn't look like they did. That's weird. No, they're all right. Okay, my mistake. That was odd. For a moment there, it wasn't showing me any guns, and I wasn't sure what they got, so they are all right. And you'd expect them to be eight one up. As we're with Get Right once again. Let's just have a look and see where they are right now. Let's help where they're quite spread out, aren't they? Still down here isolated. Zach with the bomb. He's now being uh, joined by RKZ just here. And Koga all the way over the far side, as well as ZQK, who's already been shut down in this round. Now, Get Right fancies his chances of being a bit more aggressive. He's having to play a bit of a static role here on B. A great oh, wow. shot from Steel. Steel. A couple from him. And uh, let's uh, see if we can flick over to him. He's only got 11 points of health right now. But they have killed both of those A, pla uh, uh, a defenders. And have got another bomb planted as well. So, two versus four. But Kogu's got six points of health. Steel's got just 11 points of health. But it's hard for NIP to know that, so I yeah, think it is. they might go for yeah. the save. And, uh, wow, you know what? Get right's in the site. And so too is Forrest. They're just looking for... Yeah, they're looking they for want. exits, I think. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they might just get a couple here. Yeah, there's one. And... Didn't manage to get the second. Time is ticking down here. And, uh, yeah, Get Right's now going to back himself away from that. Just about okay in there on the ledge. And that'll be the second round in the bag for the Brazilians. Progaming.td uh, on a bit of a comeback trial now. Yeah, you never know, though NIP has a lot of money left. I think they can buy it for, they're good for at least two uh, other web rounds yep. to use this one, so. Yeah, my money seems to have fixed itself again now. I don't know why it was so bad last time. Odd. I'm going to say aggressive round there for NIP pushing up middle. Yeah, it does look like we are going to see that from Get Right as well. Look, away from his B side, lands a brilliant shot on Kogu. Double flash around the corner. And he's just going to check this left-hand little cubby hole. Sometimes I've noticed players sitting in there and claiming some very easy frags. Still is even things back up now, but get right, you know what? He's in a really good position here. He's avoided most of the damage from those grenades. And they've decided to back away and rotate across the other side of the, the map right now. Zuku came with bomb in hand. They might as well just have three men left. In fact, they do have three men left now. Forrest picks up the kill on Steel who didn't have a huge amount of health, but oh, good day. Uh, flashbang goes right past ZQK. He managed to avoid most of it, but Exist is going to pick up the first one. Forrest in on the second one, and now we just have the last man standing is RKZ, just as we got across to him, and he is down. Nick now lead 9-2. Uh, insanely good play from Forrest and Exist right there on the B1 bomb site. It's like they were all along versus four players. They had no grenades, and it's like they didn't. I don't even think they lost any HP. So, 9-2 uh, right now. You should have a quick look at the scoreboard. You can see the money issue uh, for the Brazilians is pretty dire. And uh, the men that have got plenty of investment cash right now are the Swedes. Need to be better terrorists. Better terrorists earn more money. That's how it works. A 
think we don't see fifth floor on here getting into too much. Wow, uh, in fact, Fifth Lauren is completely blown away by Steel as he marched up that mid ramp and into the long side they go. Completely blinded, shut down one though. Exist picks up a triple inside that site though. And now Kogu and Zach are the last two. Zach's are downed by Forrest, so we're down to last man standing, which is Kogu finally lands an orb shot, gets the first, can't land the second now, and he's going to come under all sorts of pressure from Exist who picks up a four man in that round and Nip now lead 10-2. It's all too easy right now for the Swedes. Yeah, and as I talked about earlier, Mirage being an individual performance map and yeah, NIP just proves that. It certainly does. 17-5 and five right now, Forrest. It's almost, uh, dare I say, carrying the team. Although that would be marginally unfair. It is uh, a bit of a whitewash as we, well, possibly predicted. Uh, Kogu just on his own right now in that mid area with Deagle. And they've got. Mm, yeah, just a Deagle and a couple of P250s actually. And oh, dear me. Well, when things aren't going well for you, you're bound to hit a teammate, aren't you? Forrest with another one. Existing with another. Do you know what? They've got a couple of kills in there. And that's about as good as it was going to get for an 11 2 lead on a save. And now the Brazilians really do need to start putting a couple of rounds together here. 13 gone, two for the half. If they can get those two, then they've got a small sliver of hope when they switch over. It is a small sliver. It is the second least biased map towards T's. Uh, sorry, towards CT's that there is in competitive play. So it's not saying much, really. It's, it's still, what, 54, 55%, I think? Yeah, 54.6% in favor of CT. Private beam. Very aggressive in house, managed to take one out. Can he take another? No, he can't, but still very aggressive. It's dropping right down right now. Kogu again, another one. They fought on this round, so they're going to be scratching around for scraps in this last round, that's for sure, unless they win this one. Uh, it's a three versus three right now. Fifth round. And they're actually outside in B2, and there's no NIP. Yeah, they're there. already in B. They're going to call this, but Kogu with the bomb is all the way back over here. And uh, Getright's the man that we need to check. He's actually going to check down low. If he'd stayed there a little bit longer, he might have seen that Kogu's going to make his way all the way towards the bombsite. But ZQK was waiting for him, had no idea he was in there. And they've now got a three versus two advantage here. Yeah, they, they really shouldn't lose this Still round. Still haven't right called now. the bomb. And uh, Forrest has no idea. He's over at the A bomb site right now. And Kogu is going to get planted here at the B site. So, Fifth Laren is going to pick up one. Forrest is also with him here. And Forrest picks up the second. Somehow this is flipped around from being a three versus two. Fifth Laren goes down, it's one versus one, and Kogu clutches the round. Two in a row from him right at the end of the game. And 11-3 with one round to go, and that was really important because they can buy now. Yeah, great play from Kogu right there, though I feel like he shouldn't have needed to clutch that round. They should have just played defensively and played on the bomb when they had three guys on the side. But still they managed to win the round. Yeah. And uh, that was only Kogu's fourth and fifth frags of the game. But uh, important ones, because they've now managed to secure a third round. I'm clutching at straws still. I mean, it still doesn't look like they can come back from this. But I don't know. One more round. And look, still, still believes. He's picked up another one. They might get a second here. They do. RKZ picks that one up. And now Forrest replying back in has finally been shut down, actually. And get right. And Freiburg are the last two alive here. It's four versus two. Make that three versus one very quickly indeed. Get right goes down under fire from Steel. And the Brazilians rack up two consecutive rounds at the end of the half. How important could they be, Threat? Yeah, I think they could be very important, but I still feel like NIPs have a firm grip of this game. If Pro Gaming wins the, the pistol round, they maybe like get NIP in a bad money situation. They might have a small chance of coming back, but I NIP has too much experience to let that happen, I think. Yeah, and uh Pistols as ever, very important, but never more so than when you're 11-4 down. Uh, they really won't want to lose this because effectively that would be 14-4. That's the scoreline we'd be looking at uh, after these pistols. Let's just check out Nipper doing uh, right now. I'm gonna follow Forrest as well. He's managed to make his way out through the smoke headshot on Kogu into the window. Ridiculous. That <laughs> was so lucky by Forrest. They are gonna make their way into the B-bomb site. Well. The Brazilians basically just uh, left that completely alone. And Nip have just strolled in, planted the bomb, and finally getting some response back. But Exist has 
Nail DQ Kane. Uh, Freiburg's got another one. Forrest with another headshot with the Deagle. And uh, is he going to go for the knife here? He is going to go for the knife. Couldn't manage to pick it off. Fifth Laren stole away the knife kill from Forrest. And the end to frag from Forrest into that balcony. It's... I don't know what to say. That uh, was... <laughs> was insane, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pretty 12 insane. 12 4 overall <laughs> score right now. Having nailed the pistol round, they should be able to convert these next two without any issues. And uh, they would then be staring at just two more rounds required to win the first map. Best of three in the quarterfinals. Moving together once more, all four of them this time uh, in that mid area. I uh, just wanted to see where Get Right's gone because he's gone rogue. And he's actually the man going to play over towards A as they hold mid. Or he has a really funny shotgun position going up and down the ladder, okay? Okay, Z, yeah, he is actually. Let's see if we can. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. He's going to come face to face with Get Right if he decides to make a move through there. Yeah, uh, as you can see, it's just here. We're, we're looking at uh, this is the shotgun man. Here's the man that's his intended victim. Uh, let's see. Let's stay with him because I've got a feeling that the, on the other side of the uh, map is going to be an absolute bloodbath. Uh, it would be fun to see this from Get Right's perspective, like just seeing that shotgun pops yeah, up. Let's, let's just see that and see whether he actually gets nailed here or not. And uh, he's going to get nailed, oh. absolutely smashed in the back by RKZ. And, uh, well, the shotgun is powerful. And uh, look at this, he might get a second one here as well. Firing it off left, right and centre. Oh. Fifth Laren's now going to come under. Wow, where did that come from? Holy Moses, Zach. That was so fast. I had no chance to even switch towards the guy. What on earth just happened? That's the power of the 250. Nip, Nip just got anti-eco with yeah. a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, we don't see many of those kind of rounds. That's, I thought that was just going to be a straightforward round win for them and we were going to have fun with a shotgun, but it, it actually turned out to be an effective round. Maybe we should call that the RKC ladder now. Well, that's definitely, yeah, that's definitely going to be the RKC ladder for sure as uh, Get Right picks up the first kill on the round with Deagle in hand and that shocked them a little bit. 12-5. They just expected to convert the next two. And instead, the Brazilians went all shotgun on them. Bomb planted at B. Had more success in this B plant in the first round as well. Uh, Freiburg's now picked up a kill. That's two down. Make that three. Freiburg's got himself another one. We're still with Get Right, who finally comes on the fire from the far side. And that's been finished off by Forrest and Fifth Laren. And, just well, when, don't give them any guns anymore. Just give yeah. them deals. <laughs> Just when you thought there was a tiny bit of hope for the Brazilians. Yeah, I don't... They were kind of like just leading us down. Scoreboard. Yeah. All right. They don't like me tabbing so much. I don't want to tab too much, you know? <laughs> uh, okay, so 25 and 9 right now from Forrest. Top of the scoreboard. 13 and 5 the overall score. Three remaining to find. And, uh, well... Unfortunately, Forrest has just already unleashed two. Get right's got one. He might get a third here and a fourth as well. And it is. Three on the board from Forrest. Easy, straightforward round. 14 5. Now on a buy round for the Brazilians. How are they not buying? Uh, yeah, they're buying. Yeah, Kogu's going to take AWP now as well. So let's just see what goes on here with that AWP. I want to be seeing where he's actually set as well. We should see how uh, this and standard round now is... from NIP. Gonna go mid window. And that's already been smoked. So he's gonna have to wait and see if he can see past green, but he's been flashed into that window now. Uh, make that twice. And he's now gonna have to back away from it very quickly indeed. So look at this. Forrest, very aggressive in towards that B bomb. So they have no idea. Call it. Oh I, my goodness. Call the strat man. When the man goes into the site, just call it. Three in a row, no problem whatsoever. Uh, Forrest now. Round the corner, trying to secure the site from the last two. It's a two versus two right now. And Kogu with AWP, Zach with M4. And Forrest and Get Right, the last two alive yet again. Pro Gaming is in a very good position right now. They can, can lock the bomb down with an AWP. Yeah, but there. Kogu's just taking a face full of grenades. He's got to be a bit more careful now. Uh, Forrest also taking a little bit of side damage. Kogu nails into the mask though. And now it's a two versus one. And it's just Get Right. But do you know what? He wins more than 65% of his one versus twos. That's how good he is in this particular situation. 
inside the bomb side he is. Bomb is there, he's ready to plant, but has 35 seconds remaining. Gets the first kill on Kogu. It's 100 health versus 44 as well. Let's just see where Zack is right now, and you can see he's waiting down in this area. He can just literally pop out, but that's the bomb site that Get Right's at right now. He's got a choice. Does he go on the hunt, or does he plant? He's going to go for the hunt, you know. And he's going to get it as well! Two versus one clutch from Get Right takes them to map point. And Get Right winning those one versus two, he always makes like such an illogical decision, and it always works. In that situation, what would you honestly have done? You'd I would have, have waited and planted, yeah. We all would. And if I would push C to spawn, I definitely would have started, started to run. But Get Right, Get right seems to know something that yep. I don't. Get Right, well, he's a law unto himself, that's for sure. Map point then, 15-5. And are they going to take it at the first call of asking? Looks like they are as well. Exist with two. Freiburg with the third. Two men remaining. Kogu and Zack, both on Deagles. Kogu's actually picked himself up a frag on Freiburg, but Forrest will finish off Zack. And Kogu now will be the last man standing. Not much longer. Game point is won by Ninjas in Pyjamas. And that'll be 16-5 first match. Best of three, of course. And... Uh, not much to say, really. There was a, a nice little Brazilian shotgun cameo round, uh, but beyond that, not really much, was there? No, NIP controlled the game from uh, beginning to end, and uh, it, it was as we predicted, I guess. Yeah, it was. The good news is, if they roll through the second map, uh, we will switch over to Copenhagen Wolves versus uh, Mouse Sports, which is the other quarterfinal uh, going on right now as well. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to bring you some updates from that. Maybe yeah, Mr. Dunn can find out what the scores are and let us know as well. But uh, first map is in the bag, 16-5. Uh, we're going to take a very short break, but when we come back, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with map number two in this quarterfinal between Ninjas in Pajamas and Pro Gaming Target Down.